Welcome back to We Willy Wonderfuls and we're now going to be learning how to do a magic circle. This is usually written on the pattern, it will say magic circle or magic ring and it's the most common way to start amigurumi, which is toy making. This is what a magic circle looks like on a toy. You can see it's a beautiful little spiral. So that is our magic circle in the centre and then what we will be doing from there is working in spirals round and round in circles. But the magic circle is how to, to get your crochet started. Um, a lot of people do find this quite difficult. It is a bit tricky. You will probably need to watch the video half a dozen times, 15 times, 20 times. Just keep watching it back and keep trying. It can get a little frustrating um, when you're learning because it's something that you're learning that's brand new. Um, just keep persevering. It will come. And once you can do it, then you've literally got the, the hardest part of amigurumi mastered. So persevere. If you really, really can't do it when you've tried quite a few times, then we do have a cheat method, which is a simpler method of the magic circle. It doesn't give quite a neater finish, so it's better to persevere with the main one if possible. But if you're struggling, you can't do it, try our cheat version and hopefully that'll get you, uh, get you started. So firstly, we're going to hold our wool this is a, an hour in thickness and we're going to use a three and a half millimeter crochet hook and what we're going to do is wrap the wool around our fingers to give us our ring some people wrap it around two fingers some around one it's all personal preference i'm just going to show you the method that i use that i find gives the neatest finish so we're going to get our wool and wrap it around so we're going over backward underneath to the front so we're going to do one full circle and then we're going to wrap again and again and do two circles. So now we've got two strands here. The end of our wool is just there. So we'll just hold that with our other finger. And this is the end of the wool which leads to our ball of wool. You will feel a little bit like an octopus to start with because you feel like you need half a dozen more fingers than you've actually got to hold everything. But this is just while you're learning. It will all come naturally once you get the hang of it. So don't worry if you feel a little bit like that to start. You need to be holding, try and keep everything um, not tight, but just somewhere in the middle. You don't want it too tight. You don't want it really loose. Just say um, something in the middle. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> right. So what we're going to do now is have our crochet hook. Some people hold it like this. Some more like a pencil. Um, there's lots of different ways to hold it. Do what you find comfortable. You need to grip it reasonably firmly because you need to have control over it and make sure you, you're holding it quite firm. So you're controlling your crochet hook. So we're going to pop our crochet hook underneath those front two strands. And then what we're going to do, the hook on the end is what you use for grabbing your yarn. So we're going to grab it, which is the end that leads to the ball and we're just going to pull it underneath try and just hold on to all of these if you let go you'll probably find look it all falls to pieces um, so do try and keep hold of everything with your fingers so we're going to grab that and pull it underneath and then what we're going to do is instead of going underneath our two strands we're now going to go over the top so I'm just holding that up with my thumb so I can get it easier and we're going to that try not to split it trying to get your hook going right through the middle try and get the whole strand under the hook and then we're going to pull that through the loop that's on your hook so it's going to pull through there so now we're left with a little like a little knot that's just just our starting knot and you have got a loop on your neat hook so we can pull that to make it larger and then to make it smaller again, we can just pull the strand that leads to the ball, leads to the ball. And we want it sitting comfortably around our crochet hook. Don't try and have it really tight because you will find you can't pull the wool through and you end up getting in a big knot. Um, don't have it really loose. You'll find your stitches are loose. So we just want it to fit on there like that with a tiny little gap. And now we're going to do our first stitch. So for most amigurumi, we're starting off with a UK double crochet stitch and we're going to do six of these in the magic ring or the magic circle because that's how most of most of our patterns start. 
Um, so now you're going to learn how to do the double crochet. So we're going to go underneath inside the ring. You can either take that off if that's more comfortable or keep it on your fingers. Just do what works best for you. I tend to hold this strand here with my thumb and my index finger. So we're going to go underneath. So we're going through the ring and we're grabbing the yarn and pulling it back through that loop. So now we've got two strands on our hook. Now, instead of going underneath and through the ring, we're just going to grab the yarn over the top. So going over the top of it, grab it. The wool is going round the back like that. So it's not that way. It's going round the back and over the front. So we can just hook it with our crochet hook. And then we're going to pull that through both of those loops. So just be careful not to catch your wool or catch it on any of the hooks. Try and pull it through in one clean piece. And that's our first double crochet. So for our second double crochet, we're going to repeat. Go underneath, through the centre of the, the ring from the front to the back. Grab the yarn. Pull it back through that loop. So we have two loops. And then instead of going through the loop again, we're going to go over the top of the loop and underneath the wall. See, now they go underneath and pull it, or you can wrap it round like that, whichever's more comfortable, and pull through both of the loops. So now you've done two double crochets. And if we look at our crochet, we can see that. And you see those two, what look like a V-shape, there and there. They are two double crochet stitches. The little bit at the bottom there, which looks like a half formed V, or a little bit there, you can't really see a clearly defined stitch. That is simply the little um, knot we did to start it. So we do not count that as a stitch. All we count is those one, two. So we'll carry on. So if you remember, we're going underneath. Just try and keep hold of everything. It's quite tricky. If it falls off, you can soon pick it back up again. It shouldn't just fall out. Um, so we're going to, I'm going to take it off the hook now just to show you a different way. So I'm just going to hold it in my hand and we're going to go through there to the back, pull through. Oops. And then we're going to go over the top again and pull through both loops. So that is now three double crochet stitches. So repeat again through the loop and pull it back through and then over the top and pull it back through. So that's now four. So we're going to do it again. You probably will need to keep rewinding and watching. Just look closely at where we're going. So through and pull and then over the top and pull. Now I am holding on to this with my hand here just to keep it taut because if it's loose it's a bit harder to grab hold of it because it's moving around. So I'm just keeping hold of that yeah, like this, just to keep it keep it firm. So now we've done six, so we're going to count. Try and keep them as even as possible. Don't pull them really tight, because when you're doing your next round, you will struggle to get your hook into the stitches if you're doing them tight. But saying that, you don't want them big and loose. It's just a matter of getting a, a happy medium. So we're going to count them. So this little bit at the bottom, you can see there, it's just... Looks like a few strands, a little knot. That's not one of our stitches. We start with a clearly defined V shape. So we're going to turn it around. That's the side. We're going to turn it so we can see the stitches along the top. So we're going to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six defined Vs. We have six double crochet stitches. We don't count the loop that's on our hook. That is just the the loop that's over your hook it's not a stitch so we're just counting the v's we can see so we have six so now is the next part of the magic ring which is the bit that people find a bit tricky so you have now got a loose end here and you've also got two strands here which are um the loops where you made your, your first initial loops so we need to hold the bottom very firmly don't just hold it loose we've got to hold it tight and then we're going to try pulling on both of these, one at a time. Leave the strand that leads to our ball of wool out the way at the moment, we don't want that. So we're going to try this one first, hold it very tight and pull. Now, 
we're not pulling the loop bigger. We are literally just trying to pull it through. Now that won't budge, so that's not the first one that we need. This one, we'll try this. Ah, that's moving. So we're pulling that loop to make it bigger. We're making a big loop. So we're literally pulling it through and one of the loops will disappear and the other one will be twice the size. Now what we need to do is pull the end. So we keep holding that tightly, keep gripping the bottom where you started tightly. And now we're going to just pull this end and that will pull through. If it doesn't, you could have um, caught a lot of the strands as you were going through and because they're tangled, then it won't pull through properly. Or um, what a lot of people tend to do is pull the end first instead, um, instead of pulling the loop bigger. So make sure your first step is holding the base, tugging on both loops to see which one will move. One will move, one will not. So you're pulling the one that will move and making the loop bigger. So you're making... The loop twice the size until it vanishes don't pull it so tight that um, you're getting a big knot just pull it tight so that the hole disappears and then the second stage is pulling the loo 